Right, here we are up in the allotment, January the 14th, 2011. We'll be building some nice beds, we'll the first one. As you can see, we had a bit of a rough last night, heavy rain. Uh, it's full of water, so it should drain off, hopefully. Here we have some blackberry bushes. Black currant bushes, sorry. I'm going to zoom in on this. Yeah. Planted last year with a red currant bush. That's a white currant bush. And we've got some blueberry bushes here. I don't know if you can see them. One there. One there. We've got some raspberry canes here. Smooth in water. Not a lot I can really do about it. Then we've got the goji berry bushes, which I planted last year. Which I got from seed. Like if you look at the other video on chilies. Let me show you what they're talking about showing you one day. There there's meant to be some more raspberry bushes going in that swimming pool there. More raspberry bushes here. That's the canes. Another corn there. There's currant bushes there. Yes, I remember that's a black currant bush. This area here, this is my pony tunnel. So I've got, which I've got to build. And then I've got another area with black and off, which I'm going to put some. Not quite sure what I'm putting in there yet. Here's some sprouts from earlier on in the year. I'm going to have a Christmas Eve and chop them all down and give them all to the family. The family in it. There's some beds there ready for planting next year. Another bed ready there. Well, once it dries out. And there's some leeks, which I've not done too very well. Planting them at the same time as the other ones, but they've not done too well. There's some onions here. I don't know if you can see them. When we use mobile phone to do this, so. The onions. It's coming up nicely. And there's some more, some more leeks there. And then the cabbages. So, you know, really kind of me. I haven't been the slugs throughout the winter by the looks of it. I'm just leaves over, I'm not really checking it, need to do a bit of weeding. Yeah. That's a job to do next week. We've got some strawberries in here, which uh, look like they're just hanging on to life. But they should, uh, should pick up now, down by February. And the garlic, it looks like it's losing a bit on the end. I don't know what that is, I'll have to, I'll have to find out what it is. Well, that means maybe it's just a cold. But it's not what you had, it's done it. So there's another leak. It's doing a lot better than the other ones. It's planted at the same time. And that's the first race better than make four. That's that one there. That one where the puddle is there. One for there. And another one for there. And that marsh time. Do that last one once the leaks are ready to pick it. Then all this mound of dirt here. So we're going into the race beds. Let's be sure. We've got one earlier. Okay, thanks for looking. I shall uh, post another video next month. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, so finishing off the raised beds. That's it, there's got one more to do over there where the leaks are. And then shift all that dirt into these and then put a load of compost and chicken manure and remove it. And carrots, turnips, sweets and um parsnips. Right. See you in February. Bye bye.